Alrighty guys, well let's see what Jister's got here in the mail. Let's see what Jister's got in the mail. Jester's got some mail. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> oh, Red Sox fan. All right, here we go. Tony, what's going on, man? This better not be GMT, says Tony. <laughs> yeah, the chatter. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, guys, I'm sure this is going to disappoint a lot of people. I'm sure this is going to disappoint a lot of people, actually. But uh, we're going to get everything out of the box. I'm going to set it over here, and then I'll show you what's in the box, shall we? <clears throat> All right, first in the box. Imperial Settlers. The family game gets even bigger. Build your empire. Choose up to six unique clans. Empires of the North. Ooh, that looks like fun. All right, first of all, we got a game. We got an expansion, one of the big box expansions for a legendary called Civil War. Civil War. So this adds 370 new cards, original art, 16 new heroes, 7 new villains, 2 henchmen groups, 5 masterminds, 8 schemes, 7 new sidekicks types, 7 new wound types, 2 special bystanders, and 2 side rule sheets. Welcome to Legendary, a Marvel deck building game. A disastrous incident killing hundreds of innocent bystanders has occurred in the aftermath of the Superhuman Registration Act was created. Will you join Iron Man cause and support the act or will you side with Captain America and protect the identities of the hero? Never before has Marvel's mightiest heroes been so divided. This is Civil War. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So we'll set that over there. Let's see what's in the... Ha 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 ha! My base game of Marvel Champions has arrived. Battle your favorite heroes in this cooperative card game for one to four players. Do rise to the challenge. We conclude five heroes Spider Man, She Hulk, Captain Marvel, Iron Man, and Black Panther. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Marvel champions the base game so now i can actually not have to use dice mostly so this will have all the counters and everything so that'll be cool all right so let's set that uh let's set that there all right what else is in the package we got this what is this you might ask it looks it looks like a roll. It looks like a giant. It looks like a giant tootsie roll, right? What is it? What could this possibly be? Anybody know what this is? I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what it is. I will take it out and I will show you what it is. Yeah, that's right. It is my Spider-Man. Whoa! Oh shit, and I just knocked everything off my table. God bless it. Hang on. I got cards falling everywhere. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Where'd the fourteenth one go? Damn it. All right, I found it. Everyone relax. Everyone relax. See, this is what happens when you have cards scattered everywhere on your table. Put that up there. All right. Now we can bring back in the box and our other box. But here is my play mat. Well, let's move this aside for a second. This is my play mat for Marvel Champions. They have several different ones. 
I decided to go with Spider-Man. So when you play your cards, right? It's easier to slide them around. Cool, huh? What do you think of that? All right, so we'll put this here. Put that there. All right. And we got this. This is kind of nice, huh? What do you think of that? Let's see what else we find. There's still, there's still a few more things. Dun, dun, dun. Black Widow. Marvel Champions Black Widow Hero Pack. One of my favorite heroes, Black Widow. I just watched Marvel Endgame the other day. And wow, what a movie, huh? If you haven't watched it yet, that was insane if you haven't seen that movie. But this is a this is a hero pack for Marvel Champions, Black Widow. Let's see what else we have. Oh look! It's Thor, another Marvel Champion Hero Pack. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Wow. Oh, so we got we got our Marvel Champion game with Spider-Man, Captain Marvel, Iron Man, She-Hulk, Black Panther. We now have Thor, we have Black Widow, and of course, don't forget, we now have Captain America as well. So Captain America, Black Widow, Thor, Spider-Man, Captain Marvel, Iron Man, Black Panther, She-Hulk. So lots of different villains, lots of different heroes to play now. Let's see what else. Oh, there's only one thing left in the box. That's it. Another mini expansion for Legendary. This is Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, 100 all new playable cards, new original art, new mastermind schemes, villains, and heroes. The Guardians of the Galaxy expansion now for Marvel Legendary. Uh, five new heroes, two mastermind groups, two villain groups, four new schemes, a rule sheet, and a tokens. Let's open this bad boy up and take a look at what we got. Shall we? Let's see what heroes are in this pack, right? Probably, I'm thinking, probably it's got some of the Guardians of the Galaxies. <laughs> Oh, look, they have little tokens now. What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Enemies. Okay, whatever. Let's see who's in the pack, shall we? Artifacts. The Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> Shards. Uh, all right, so what do we have in here? Let's take a look at who's in this pack. Get get off me. We got Drax the Destroyer. Drax. Uh, and we, of course, have Gamora. Ah, Gamora. Drax, Gamora. Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. Rocket Raccoon. His ultimate costs seven. It gives you five attack. And if you show a tech, you get plus one fight for each Master Strike in the KO pile and or stack next to the Mastermind. Wow. So every time a Master Strike comes out, Rocket Raccoon upgrades his gun and makes it even better. Wow, that's cool. That's good power. I like that. And of course, we have Star-Lord. So we got Drax... Gamora, Groot, Rocket, and Star-Lord. Let's see what Star-Lord's power is here. Artifact. Once per turn, gain a shard for each artifact you control. So we'll have to find out what the shards and the artifacts do. But, look, there's uh, Thantos there. All right, let's see who the mastermind is here. Supreme Intelligence of the Kree, mastermind. 
Phantos is the mastermind. Uh, a different Thantos. This is one of them is Supreme Intelligence of the Cree Mastermind, and then this is just Thantos. 24! Oh my god. Wow. 24? That is a lot. We have forged the Infinity Gauntlet scenario. Wow. Intergalactic Kree Megabomb. The Kree Scroll War. And Unite the Shards. All probably really interesting scenarios. Then, of course, we have the Infinity Gem Villains. Interesting. And then we have the Star Force. Wow. All right, so I have to uh, try to fi find out about the Infinity Gauntlet, the shards, and the artifacts. So these uh, tokens can be used by players, villains, and masterminds. If a shard would be gained, but there are none left in the supply, then no shard is gained. When you gain a shard, put it in front of you. You can spend a shard to get plus one attack. If you don't use your shard immediately, you can keep it for future turns. You can spend it as many shards as you wish in a single turn. Shards do not have victory points. Villains gain shards, put them on the villain card. So basically they're like boosts that you earn from playing different cards. Artifacts. This set also contains powerful new artifact cards that players can use. Permanent advantages. Some hero cards are also artifacts. They still count as hero cards as well. When you gain a hero artifact, put it in your discard pile like any other hero. When you draw the artifact later in the game, you may play it in front of you and use its effect, usually once on each of your turns. This means you control that artifact. At the end of the turn, when you discard all the cards you played, the artifact you stays out in front of you. Okay, so it'll be like a like an ongoing... Okay, that's pretty easy. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. How long do you think about that? What do we want to? What do we want to look at? What do we want to look at? Let's look at. Let's look at our core champions. Let's look at our champions. Look at our core champions, shall we? I told you guys, you guys knew this was coming. I told you it was on the way. If you've been watching my videos the last week or so. So. Let's see what you get in the box. You get the learn to play rules, which is going to be handy. I need to definitely, because there's a few rules I need to check on. Uh, so I can read through this and I can have it. So that's cool. Then, of course, you have the rules of reference, which we need to check on. We need to check on a rule for. Uh, some of the rules. All right, so that's cool. Of course, you got your, um, your little tokens to put together. And of course, you have. Oh, cool. Of course, you have all your different cards. You got your tokens. Cool. All right. Plus, you know, the big the big thing is the more you invest in a, a game, right? The more you invest, the more you can uh, change out cards. You know, if you don't like some of the Captain America cards, like I'm not a big fan of, you know, some of these cards. I would like to replace them with other cards, but you need to have these other cards to replace them with. So. Now we do have the options, so that's cool. So now I gotta sleeve everything. There's uh, Jennifer Walters, AKA She Hulk, Spider Man starter deck. Here's his deck. <clears throat> Let's take a look at Spider Man's deck real quick and take a look at what's in Spider Man's deck. Probably be playing as Spider Man since I got the Spider Man, uh, since I got the Spider Man uh, play mat, right? Only makes sense. All right, let's see what we got here. So we have 
Oh, this just gives you the breakdown of the hero cards. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So you have Peter Parker, scientist, resource, generate a resource, limit once per turn. Oh, wow. So you can activate his ability and generate a resource every turn. And then, of course, his Spider-Man. He's got one fort, two attack, three defense. Very good defense. Spider Sense. Interrupt. When a villain initiates attack, you get to draw a card, which is super cool. He gets Black Cat as an ally. Backflip. Two of those. Enhanced Spider Sense. Swinging Web Kick. Deal eight damage. That's pretty good. Ant May, which we can exhaust to uh, heal damage. We got a... Attached to a minion and remove three threat, three threat when you uh, eliminate that minion. Web shooter. Mm, generate a resource. Okay, so it's a way to generate resource. Webbed up. Daredevil. Jessica Jones for justice. Great responsibility. The power of justice. Interrogation room. Surveillance team. Heroic Intuition, uh, plus one thwart. Mockingbird, Nick Fury, okay, Mockingbird, our Mockingbird we have with um, Captain America. We have Nick Fury. Wow, he's pretty good. It does cost four. Emergency, First Aid, Holly Maker, Energy, Genius, and Strength. Avenger Mansion, Helicarrier. Tenacity, eviction notice is his uh, personal uh, obligation. And then, of course, Vulture is his nemesis. Uh, let's see if I can. So there's a Vulture. Cool. So, of course, all those would come into play. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Now we can play with two heroes so, instead of just one. All right. Oh, we'll have to take this stuff apart. That's awesome. Well, there you go, guys. Um, Marvel Champions, some Marvel Legendary boxes, and then... Some extra champions, Thor and Black Widow. What a combination that would be, huh? Thor and Black Widow. So I have the core set, Captain America, Black Widow, and Thor. And now we can build some cool decks. We can get all kinds of cool stuff going on with it. There's a few other expansions I don't have yet, but... And then, of course, the legendary... Civil War and Guardians of the Galaxy. So good haul. And of course, our Spider Man. Uh, what do you call this thing? Um, play, play mat. Super cool. All right. We'll see you all next time. Thanks for coming out. RJL, Jeffrey, Appa Chatter, Tony, Al. Hope everyone has a good day. I'm going to have to take everything out, separate them, put them in sleeves, and then uh, we'll be on later tonight and play some of things. So we'll see you all then, guys. Take care.